So now we are going to make kofta using the same batter that we used to make sikh kebab in our previous recipe. So I'm going to make the base for kofta curry using some onion paste. I usually fry my onions in advance and freeze them, like grind them and freeze them. So I took a little bit of that and added some ginger, a fresh ginger and garlic. So let it cook, stir it well until it's ready for next step. When the uh, onion ginger garlic paste is nicely fried, we're going to add the spices in there. And the spices include uh, some chilies, turmeric, coriander, cumin seeds, garam masala, and salt. That's not on this plate, but I'm going to add that. We're going to add some diced potatoes. Kitchen is a place of great action. So while I'm making this curry base for my kofta on the other stove, I'm boiling some eggs that I'm going to use in this curry. When the curry base is a nice paste, after cooking it for about five minutes, keep stirring it, add some water so that the tomatoes nice and blended in we'll put our uh, coke tart in there we're going to add a little bit of water not to fill it and let the kofta cook. Do not stir them at this stage, otherwise they're going to break. Just make sure they're, that they're kind of dipped in the sauce. And let them cook for about five to seven minutes before you stir them. So once they've been cooking for some time, you can stir them without the fear of breaking them. So the kofta is ready and I used the hard boiled eggs in there. This looks yummy. It's still bubbling. It's so fresh, so delicious.